Prepare yourself for a sprawling discussion on just about anything, where critical thinking meets pop culture in a collision of mind-bending proportions. Please secure all neurons and prepare for full frontal cortex. It's time for Incoherent Ramblings. Hello, everybody! Ah! Welcome <laughs> to this wonderful new episode of Incoherent Ramblings. We're at episode zero. Do you know zero. which one it is? Actually, I don't. Are we 30, <laughs> 32. 32. 32. <laughs> 32. <laughs> I wondered if you were going to Although remember. the listener, again, is going to know. <laughs> That's right. We don't need to figure it out right <laughs> now. Yes, I, was, yeah. I harped on that once. Okay, yeah. episode 32. I'm your host, Joey Shamo. We also have... Paul Huttinger. K.O. Anderson. And Daryl Jors. Feel free to email us. Show at IamRambling.com. And uh, you can also put our names in front of that. And you can email the... People here just said their names. The first name. First individually. Name. Yes. So today's topic. Daryl has two R's in it and a Y and a D and a D and an A and an L. G I O R S. Yeah. It's on yeah. the website. Just go to our website. Okay. Yeah. Cool. They yes. already saw it. Yeah. Once again, email me. So uh, today's topic is Daryl's. And what is it, Daryl? Today's topic is a big one. <laughs> oh yes, Daryl is still the official <laughs> dick joke guy. All right, Kale totally. and Paul lost working. their jobs and are not allowed to make dick jokes. Of course not. They will be no. severely punished. It's going to be our jokes are it's like we're taking it in the ass. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> that's an ass joke. Yeah, oh, you can, oh, Kale, you can say oh. that. Kale, you can do ass jokes. It's oh, fine. Yeah, right. All right. No, so no, uh, today's <laughs> today's topic will be the Internet of Things, which we will get to in a moment. First. It's time for the, the pre-ramble. Pre yeah. <laughs> I thought he was going to be going I on. Know. Oh, we planned this beforehand, and it didn't work. Well, it was so kind of. Yeah, it's so that we all stopped. Yeah. Well, no, no. <laughs> we planned to stop and to see what it's you were going to do, and you just stopped. You just <laughs> kind of fizzled out there. A this was bit. the first time I decided to keep it simple. Damn I just it! Said, yeah. That's it. Yeah. Oh, so, see, now we got to wait another you ten. You all conspired against me. Yes, we did. Yes. All three of you. Yes. 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 It was. I decided whoever. What dicks? <laughs> <laughs> it was whoever was going to be the last person here, and it was you. Uh, so. Oh, last person. Okay, I got but it. But now, it, now so that that's get, what we're doing now. Well, no, because now it's everyone's going to think it's going to happen. So next time we're going to pre ramble, and everyone's going to be quiet. <laughs> <laughs> so we can't do this again successfully for like another ten yeah. episodes before everyone forgets. Yeah. Anyway, well, today's forgetting to today's pre ramble. Today's pre ramble uh, is brought to you by the sponsor of Jarvis because we're doing the Internet of Things. So uh, Jarvis is our. Uh, can anybody do a good Jarvis well, voice? we don't have a Jarvis uh, oh. well, we'll yeah, just I guess we should have prepared yeah. to do a Jarvis Hey Jarvis, voice. how are you today? <laughs> we do that. Not <laughs> 80s speak and spell guy <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember exactly what Jarvis was. Wasn't it? He's he like, like, oh those, hello yeah, yeah, so. oh, He had a British hey. accent hey, hello, I love, hello Mr. Star I love your Iron I Man no, that's, that's, <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's <laughs> Jarvis oh. the weather would be. <laughs> that's, his, that's his other mode that, that Tony does when he's alone He goes Oh my Today the weather that will be his kind of see through PO. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Don't touch that. <laughs> okay. So uh, Jarvis is bringing you today. Hello. Today's is Mr. Stark. Blah, 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 blah. So today's pre ramble. Uh, two two things in the news that I wanted to bring up. Just uh, see what you guys thought about the first. Something actually happened today, which I've been waiting for forever. Um, I don't the know. If singularity. Was, no, I, I don't know if it was okay. today or if it was recent. I just heard it on the news. I haven't looked it up yet, but apparently, uh, there was a guy who uh, they found on a park bench had no pulse, and they took him to the morgue, put him in a body bag, and he wasn't dead. <laughs> <laughs> and he woke up in the freaking body bag <laughs> in the morgue. How cool is that? I. What is cold in the morgue? Yeah, it must have been pretty cold in the morgue. Yeah. So right. was he stiff anywhere? Hey, 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 oh, hey, hey, oh. No, that's my job. <laughs> that's that's freaking that's scary. Stiff because that's always board. that's always I think about What's that? being a uh, organ donor. He's suing. He's it's just, like I really you better make sure I'm dead. Yeah, he was scared they, they were going to out my liver. Or something. Yeah, they were they they were uh, he was pretty scared. He's having nightmares now to go into the kidney. <laughs> but <clears throat> that's the problem is he woke up after half his organs were already in China. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Was that real? That was yeah. the Internet of Things. <laughs> yeah, the Internet of Things has spoken. Okay, that's my side pre ramble. What? The Internet of Things sounds like a duck. <laughs> you might want to get some spray. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no thanks. We've had plenty of spray, Paul. 
Yeah. No. <laughs> okay. Is there an accident? Did, oh, are your wicking I... pants working from the inside oh, out? Is that oh, what's happening? I need a wet wipe. Oh no. <laughs> Sorry about that, Kale. Oh. So that was our pre ramble <laughs> No, the I'll actual the chair after you're gone. Oh god. The actual <laughs> pre ramble Oh god. Oh god. It was supposed to be more <laughs> the actual pre ramble was supposed to be there's this there's this uh, Make a Wish Foundation kid who's got leukemia. <laughs> Hey, hey, serious talk. <laughs> Stop it. I know. <laughs> no, what's that? Sorry. And yeah, what they're actually doing on November 15th is he asked you, he asked to go to Disneyland, he asked to see Justin Bieber or whatever. He said, I want Will Wheaton to visit and put me. In Did he want to get a bag, job at Blockbuster? Right? He didn't ask for a, a, oh. a, a room with clear air. <laughs> <laughs> what, do you, what he asked for is he wanted to be, he's like five or six, he wanted to be back kid. So what they're actually wow, doing, the kid. city of San Francisco is doing a whole thing with him where they've hired actors and on the news that morning. Whoops. <laughs> that didn't Sorry. work. Yeah. And on the news that morning. Don't bump the plastic. And on the news <laughs> and on the news that so morning. Part of the problem is this is under your show. Jeez. I will fart is again. It? Damn it. Get off of there. I'm sorry. Oh. <laughs> okay, wait, we almost got it. Okay. Yeah. Just a little to the Cable left, tragedy averted. Oh. Thank you. Let me say something new. Daryl adjusted his cable. And on oh. the news this morning, hey! And on the news that morning, they're gonna say you? there's there's been a crime in San Francisco and we need Batman and Bat Kid. And they, they've, oh. they've made a costume for him. They've got actors playing like uh, the Penguin and the Riddler or whatever. And they're actually gonna have them like solve crimes and the whole- and they're so gonna have, in San Francisco? Mm -hmm. And they're gonna give them the key to the city in front of like, all these people. The actual mayor's gonna be in it. So wow. it's really pretty cool. It's gonna be November 15th. So I'll be uh, I'll be keeping an eye on that. We'll bring it up in the next free ramble with pimples. <laughs> no, he's like five, dude. Oh, Co Commissioner you? Gorton. <laughs> if oh. you're like 13 and you want to be Batman, uh... what? Every 13 year old boy wants to be Batman. No, 13 year old boys want to be Robin. I'm Batman. <laughs> no, 13 year old boys want to be laid. That's what they want. <laughs> and if you're Batman, you'll get laid. You know why? That, that's true. Because you're Batman. Because you're Batman. Right. Hey, you want to know my secret identity? <laughs> That was a pre ramble! Pre ramble, pre ramble, pre ramble! Okay, so our guest. Josh couldn't get me on that one. No. Topic today is the Internet of Things. Daryl, let's start off because that could mean it still stinks in here! I'm trying to I farted like, what was it, a couple weeks ago at Daryl's place? I still smell That was really bad. But it wasn't loud, also. Why do you have to That's make a it twofer. linger? <laughs> yeah. I'm here to entertain you. Okay, you here we to, go. Daryl, dick why jokes. Why do you have to make it linger? Daryl, dick jokes. Kale, ass jokes. Paul, fart jokes. <laughs> or actual farts. Okay, I, I showed a real fart. Let's see a real dick. <laughs> oh, wait. Jeez. Well, here's my real okay, ass. Okay, where's, where's a mirror, Paul? <laughs> oh. <laughs> so, the Internet yeah, of Things. Let's get glass. going, guys. The Internet of Things. Uh-oh. Not over my computer. The internet of... <laughs> Here, I may have to hold that a little bit. You know, this is a very serious topic. Not as serious as Kid with Leukemia is serious, but still. The Ooh. internet... <laughs> oh my god, now it's it smells tiny. like a rose garden in here. Oh, it's like a oh I, god! I farted in a candle Oh my shop. god, that's strong shit. I mean... Now it just god. smells like you shit in a pine tree. <laughs> Hey, Joey, what does oh, the dark side have? <laughs> Here, take me. This is watermelon. Cookie. No, 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 don't okay. add to it. Oh, my God. No, it smells like no flowery way. watermelon. No Guys, we have a oh. show to do. Oh, my it God. Is, I'm, so glad I'm, I'm so glad I'm from her. I'm so glad I'm Yeah, that's cotton. So I'll just talk over here about the watermelon. internet things. It's, it's, it's freaking yeah. weird. Yeah. 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 Cotton smells like slavery. No, I am getting it on my own here. Cotton is the fabric of our lives. Wait, what did you just say? I was conversing with Joey here. Check the show oh notes. God, not we're, we're like 15 minutes in, and we haven't even gotten to the subject this yet. This is another false it's start, a new, isn't it? It's a new... No way. Is this high or new low? I don't know. We'll have to find out later. We, we don't have to make it a false start, because what can happen is if you click the right thing, you'll end up right here. And awesome. Uh, uh, now you're here for the actual information that we've come now? to give you in this and not the stupid last 14 minutes and 32 <laughs> seconds of crap, mostly out of Paul's ass. So, uh, right. the Internet of Things. Daryl, what, what did you mean when you picked this topic? 
All right, it's about a future where you're going to have many multiple connected devices all over the place. It's going to be um, a lot more automation of data entry and uh, tracking and sensors that are going to uh, basically augment what we've been doing so far, which is primarily people have to do data entry for things like doing inventories keeping track of things. Which sucks ass. Exactly. So um, with RFID, and uh, you can have things just being passively tracked by active internet-connected devices. RFID? Then, yeah, it's the I know that's radio, familiar. radio frequency identification tag. Ah, yes. Yes. Um, it. It's basically really low Darryl power, so you can put the them cool on almost everything. Acronyms. Yeah, acronyms. Thank Which you don't know. RFID. <laughs> I don't even know acronyms. acronyms. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, the RFIDs are nice. Thank you. Thank you, Paul. So, uh, basically, into that yet, so basically, <laughs> basically, it's the uh, it's internet almost infusing in all parts of our lives, being in our uh, appliances, being in our furniture. Well, yeah, yeah so it, like it, I said but, before the podcast, it's everything no electronic heard. going yeah. online. It adjusts to yeah. it adjusts to us. So but like, even not electronic, like clothes. Right. But they would have things to have an so electronic that will device electronic. Yeah. to yeah. connect to the internet. So part Duh. of the, well, so, then <laughs> it can't be just your shirt. So one of the things that's going to make this possible is IPv6, which is a newer standard that allows <laughs> trillions and trillions of internet addresses compared to what we had before with regular internet protocol IPv4. So the um, it's basically like you can have an IP address for every atom on the surface of the earth. I mean, it's more than just trillions. It's like trillions. Because we need that. Right. Well, mm -hmm. especially. If <laughs> but the idea is that you just, there's no end in sight. You just basically can have as many devices as possible. And it's one of those things where we had more than enough addresses that were unique without subnetting different parts of the internet or anything like that. But, you know, typically people had like three or four devices in their household that were internet connected. But it keeps getting to be more and more because it's like now it's every phone and, you know, every media player. You have like a Chromecast you can put on your TV. That's going to have its own IP address, et cetera. Although maybe not on the appliances. Open and appliances, these, will, these, but, these are not just passive things so that will be connected. Well, it's our wireless not, Otherwise, why would you no. connect it? It's our wireless system. systems have made this so easy. Yeah. Right. To ha have so many different devices. So do you online. think that, do you think wireless will it become in the n near future more? It already is kind of is like a utility. <coughs> Excuse me. Do you think it will be more like uh, like electricity, where every home gets it for a you know reasonable price, or might it be free? Well, I don't think we have to like drastically change infrastructure to make this happen because Wi-Fi is available in most places where you would want to have this technology, uh, and at that most people have a wired connection to the internet somehow, but it could start going where if there's a more robust cellular network, all these things could be working wirelessly to something more distant. I guess I'm not saying necessarily wirelessly or not, because obviously if you need a wire, you'll make a wire, but I'm, I'm looking at it more along the lines of two things. Number one, will it be like electricity, where if you go someplace that doesn't have electricity, it's weird? Yeah. And, yeah. Yeah, and number two, like that. but will we will we have to pay for it, or will it just be something that is everywhere? No, it'll be like a utility. I think like electricity. I mean, but, it's like we have now. We have a service for Verizon or AT and T. But electricity well, is has you, we have to create it. You know, the connections of the internet once they're made, aren't they just there? Well, or they have to be powered. Stuff like that. Oh, maintenance. Yeah, okay. You, you, well, so you could have argued the same thing about the uh, telephone company. You know, like that's just what I was going to say. Telephone lines are already up, but they have to be maintained. You're paying for and, bits. Yeah, you are. That's yeah. Okay. That's what you're going to say. Because I heard today that I was going to talk about phones. Yeah. Right. And I don't but think that the companies the will allow that. Okay. I heard we're today on the news they were saying that there's a congressman who's trying to work with trying to make LA free wireless like through the whole yeah. city. And I'm just wondering if that's going to be something that's going to be going to be able to work. Well, it, it would often. come through our taxes. Yeah. Then. Well, yeah, I, mean, I know, gonna, but I mean, I know that, but I mean, do you think it's going to happen where there's going to because they want to, of course, get well, wireless to the disenfranchised? It, 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 Okay, go on. Well, it depends, too, on, on what, they what, go to what the infrastructure like they're going to use. Yeah. Because <laughs> the infrastructure there is put in by businesses, Verizon, AT&T, right. whatever. And for the city to come in and, and do it, it, they would have to put in their own system or lease what's already there. And it does kind of put existing businesses out of business, which is you're going to get some uh, pushback from that. But um, it's kind of like the... Um, transit system you know like we have roads and highways and things like that and that kind of infrastructure didn't uh 
get the way it is now until it was um, you know subsidized. Uh, so the government has to kind of coordinate it, make sure it's all done uh, in a particular manner. But that kind of thing benefits industry in a large degree. And I think that you would have the same thing from uh, free open internet everywhere. It would just make it so that people can conduct um, more commerce and get more done all the time. It's going to just benefit the general economy. And that might be why um, there would be an incentive for a government to step in and do that because, yes, it'll cost tax money to implement the infrastructure. However, on the back end of that, people are going to be spending more money, the economy is going to be more healthy, and you'll collect more taxes. So it's one of those things where it could balance itself out. It, it is scary, though, that if they do put in the infrastructure, what if it's the same company that put in the Affordable Care Act website? <laughs> yeah, let's let the NSA do it instead. What, they seem to be yeah. able to do those things. What, yeah. what exactly are choices right now when it comes to internet? Because I remember back when internet was becoming you know popular, you could only get to it on the phone, and then soon you had DSL, which was still kind of the phone, but you also had cable modems. By the way, and, DSL has a secondary meaning. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Well, what is it? Dick sucking, sucking lips. lips. Yeah. Right. <laughs> you weren't. You weren't. Oh, sorry. You're, you're, you're getting beat oh, later. I said dick. Yeah. <laughs> well, he looked at me. He shouldn't have. He All right. So, trouble. so okay, but why did he look at me? When what he, are the choices? Are they still the only choices now? Who am I gonna look at? Seriously. <laughs> Topic. Yeah. Yes. Uh, are these the only choices now, or is it still just DSL cable, satellite, satellite, still the, and satellite? Is satellite Cellular. worth? I mean, up to the same. And then there, well, there's also well, the Usenet. 4G um, mm. cellular hotspots. Yeah. Yeah. Which, you know, I had unlimited Verizon that I got rid of, like everyone else, because I wanted a new phone. But it makes me wonder, like, maybe if I would have just bought <clears throat> the phones at full price from now on, would it have been worth keeping the unlimited amounts? <laughs> because, you know, not paying very much for it and getting as much as I want uploaded or downloaded. There are also some new technologies that are supposedly coming that are going to be like comparable in capability to Wi-Fi, but they'll transmit over a radius of like a mile. Mm. And this might be wishful thinking until they get it out of the lab, but it does sound like something that's possible. So we might wind up with, instead of a cellular network that's only so fast, we can wind up with something that's a, a lot faster that um, you know, don't have to be super far or um, super close to the base station. So uh, what what's yeah. what's the best right now? I mean, is a cable modem always was seemed the best before? You know, cable the fastest, modems probably fastest, yeah. the Google. most reliable. Yeah, because the, one of the town. problems with DSL hmm. is that um, more people. A lot than, of the copper wires are oh, just okay. not up to you know the they're not the the right quality to transfer the data. Yeah, the, the biggest part of the speed is where the slowdown is the copper wires from the. Cables down Not to, to say your that house. the cable networks are perfectly wired either, but they do seem to replace their stuff more often. Which one slows down when more people get on it? Is that That's cable. cable. That's cable. Okay. The thing is, technically, anything will do that. Okay. Because yeah. at yeah. some, there's going to be a choke point. It's going to be somewhere. like that at the hub. Yeah. So basically, so that, I think I think that thing is like a marketing <laughs> play to that DSL people put out there to right. really discourage you, but it's at the end of the day not really that big. Of so well, it, for most people, why? Why would it be important? Getting back on topic. Yeah, I was. Oh, you were going to get host, post, host, post, post. So Go what ahead. I was about to say Go before ahead, Kale interrupted me to bring us back on topic was: so these are all going to come into the Internet of Things, and that's what's going to power it. Hmm. That wasn't what yeah. I was going to well, say. Well, what are you going to say? Let's see who's got the better get back on topic. Power, what's powering I was going to say is why. Would we want to have everything connected yeah. to the internet? Yours is better. I think that's a good direction yeah. well, to go. Well, for one thing, yeah. RFID, which is <laughs> you're good for... You're, you're man. You're man. Good. I got stores. a chubby off that one. Paul's talking! <laughs> man. Chubby. Well, like RFID is great for inventory, exactly. which, yeah. is, which is connected to the web. I know like libraries that use RFID that they can just go down ranges of books with a wand and yeah. it'll say if a book's out of place. Or right. doesn't belong there, or right, something's yeah. missing and stuff, or a store. Where and then after all the people have RFIDs on them, you can wave the wand over everybody <laughs> and find out who's not supposed just to be keep going, yeah. just keep Find going. out who's farting. Just keep going. Just keep going. <laughs> oh, my Dude, stores we with, you out last week. Oh, my <laughs> stores with inventory, they're like, no, there are only you know, there's five million falcons left in the store, but four are here because Paul Hid went over in the. Uh, Dish, dish soap section, but they can't find it. But the computer says it's there. Yeah. 
Well, to reorder. I, I like that you brought up the idea of stores because I think that because um, <laughs> Daryl likes stores, they're a good they're a good example of how this kind of thing has already been happening, even though not everything is internet connected at this point. Because um, you look at things like shipping companies or big stores like Walmart. Uh, Walmart gets their economies of scale through efficiency and really good inventory. Uh, so basically they can track to exquisite detail how many of a particular product they need in a particular store and how when it has to arrive there and when it's expected to sell through and all that stuff. So they basically have very little well, excess inventory. Call that just around. in time. Yeah, it's just, just, just in, in time. Timberling. So the store and delivery. knows that they know not a person right. but the store as a thing, yeah. knows what to reorder before. Right. I saw this, this video that gone. they actually have uh, some test uh, centers for Walmart where uh -huh. they it's just robots. Yeah. And they're using the tags to pick right. things up, move them around. And there's not anybody except supervisors there. There aren't like people moving those uh, right. thingies with the forks. The forklifts. The forklifts. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> and those fork. Fork, the fork tongue. Thingies Which is tongue. awesome. <laughs> those things are awesome when they're restocking the toys because you get the fresh boxes and stuff. So when it's when it's something cool. like that, like a, a company, they can put the RFIDs on things to make them automatically scanned. Uh, but then you look at shipping uh, companies, basically... I not... ship my bed! <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Sorry. Nice. Don't so ship they, yourself. Every, every package has a tracking number, right? And they get scanned oh, late, when Paul, they go oh, through didn't. different sorting facilities. <laughs> and then we have the benefit of being able to track that through the internet. Like dirty you know, We get a tracking number. You can find out where Takes your package out last you, arrived. <laughs> Which conversation are you listening to? I don't know. So, I'm listening to the one I'm talking about. Now, that's a lot. You know, it's interesting how businesses are going to work, but I'm more interested in how it's going to work in the home. I mean. Well, I'm saying that this is kind of a, right. It's kind of, um, it's industrialized right mm. now. That's where you can see a good example of how it yeah. causes e efficiencies of scale. Gotcha. So the thing is, you can basically have a more efficient home. Once the home has enough sensors that it can actually detect what's coming into the house, what's leaving the house. Uh, so you can start doing things like your refrigerator will know anything that you're putting into it. Yeah. And even... Um, you're gonna, we've, been know, we've been hearing that for a while. They have yeah, those yeah. out now. Don't they? Yeah. The, the technology the knows like, uh, when you need milk and stuff. But, right. how, but how does it work now? Because you don't have anything on the milk. Well, they have right. test systems that actually work. And also... They not only do they know what's there and what needs to be refilled, is it will analyze what you have in your fridge, and then it will uh, tell you what you can make out of it. Well, wait a second. Hold on. What? How does? What's the? But I think that that's not there yet. Though. What's the technology no, they have, of the tags? They actually though. have a system. Is it just? A yeah, because the, the not you know you don't buy a produce at the store and put it in the fridge and it doesn't have its own tags already. No, it might. It, but, <coughs> no, no, I'm, aware, like I'm you, aware of systems where you, right, you have the touch screen on there, and you yeah. can basically input what you just bought or whatever. So like, it may go as like a um, well. The one I saw had a camera thing. system. Like yeah. milk, like right. you put in. I bought a gallon of milk, and then on average, it lasts five days. What's going on? <laughs> YMCA. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Mini YMCA. All right. No, but but what when they do it in this in stores or like you're saying with Walmart, what are the tags? Are they on the cartons or on what? the boxes? On the boxes. Yeah, on the boxes. Well, you know, and like they just have... reuse them. Afterwards, yeah. oh, okay. So they're not something that's disposable. Yet. Well, no, no actually, disposable. they don't reuse. No, no they they stay. You on know, like in the actually. DVDs. Yeah. Mm -hmm. When you open up a DVD, it has a little right. square. Oh yeah. Okay. okay. The RFID so those are going to be on all the things we right, buy. That's basically. the thing. They're super inexpensive. They're like just a small increase in the cost of the package. Yeah. So what's what's the tipping point going to be where they actually start putting those on all our products? And you know, do we need something? I think one of the things is just like it's based on infrastructure. Like we don't have devices at home that will actually read those tags. But we don't need devices so, at home to read the tags because there's none out there. No, but there are on some things. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so like it'll, it's one of those it's, things it's where just roll. it is a little bit of a chicken and egg problem. Yeah. Like you kind of need both to spring up at the same time to be and useful. And when that tipping point, as you said, will happen, we mm -hmm. don't know. Yeah, but it it won't be too long. I I'm within ten years maybe. Yeah, I, I'm yeah. thinking it's likely that it'll happen like that. And um, but let's just start talking about like how it starts making your household maybe more efficient. Okay. And, and could benefit the economy. Well, inventory concerned. obviously is fantastic because then you right. know you know what you've got all the time. You can keep these more organized. And some of these sensors could be smart enough where they can detect how much fluid is like in your gallon of milk container, for example. Mm -hmm. So it can start warning you either when it's about to expire or when you're running low. 
Um, well, one of the samples that you shown was like um, if you have a device that registers like your heartbeat or mm-hmm. or whatever, like a not a mood ring, but detects what kind of mood you're in when you get home. If you're used to playing rock music and you get home and it detects you're all stressed out, it'll change it to more relaxing music. Oh, that's nice. I like that. Based on you. And Google's kind of done a lot of things where, you know, they they have a lot of data about you if you log in before you do most of your searches. And then you know how it does the predictive text thing. Like it tries to understand your preferences. Dude, I did one YouTube on this girl in a bikini driving in a car and now it's like... Do you, are you looking for a date, girl in a bikini? Course. And it's like, yeah. dude, I just watched one thing, one thing with the girl with the bikini well, in the car, you, one thing. And that you was saw your the, first after mistake. I did the uh, all those R two D two boom shots. Now those advertisements are popping up <laughs> all over the place. Incognito now. window. <laughs> because they, I want. Uh, let's talk I about old, used that. old man penis. <laughs> Put that in. Now you're gonna oh. get all those ads. I don't want those. Cool. I, I, I didn't want those ads. <laughs> no, 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 thank you. Okay, well, but, also, so when the internet of things them. happens, you can it can tell you when you're running low on your little blue pills and everything. Okay, so well, let's see if we can name off all the things that it could do. Hey, got, I'm the only one old enough here to be using the blue pills. Actually, dude. I use blue pills. <laughs> They're not those blue pills. I, not I, recreationally. I mean, yeah. <laughs> I'll leave. leave. What are you talking about? What'd be Little great? Blue. What'd be great? Go ahead, please is, leave. You're if, stinking the place. Speaking of stinking, it'd be great when it, when your toilet is connected to the internet and it detects when you have diarrhea and it knows to buy you a modium. Well, actually, he's got a point there. I mean, it's there could be it, a lot of health monitoring. That, that's, that's just a, it. Is it modium and yeah. fiber? Health I'm monitoring. I'm detecting gas in the refrigerator. Would you like? to <laughs> Why, are you, Why are you pooping in the refrigerator? <laughs> no, I was well, just saying this in the background. You guys all shut up. <laughs> uh, <laughs> what on, the hell? On the video that you're not K- supposed to stop. That Kale put up. It had where it would detect like your your the temperature and the temperature right. of you. And if you're like real hot, it'll turn the air conditioner on or mm-hmm. whatever. Well, what if you're having like you're like having sex or whatever, and they turn the air on? It's too cold, and then it all just goes out. Yeah, and then you'll suffer shrinkage. Yeah. <laughs> Anywho, so I'd hate for it to in the in the middle of things say. It seems that you need to reorder condoms. <laughs> <laughs> well, the thing is, all so these, Jarvis all these, pro- <laughs> <laughs> yeah. hello, sir. It like, seems you're diapers. running low on the dinghy armor. It also <laughs> seems you have lower on anal lube. I told her I would put it on. <laughs> uh, I'm doing my thing. Now, wouldn't this include like Netflix? What it does now, like uh, it, it's it monitors what you watch, and so it has this like yeah. it's guessing what you would like. So these these algorithms of like learning people's preferences are already well underway. Yeah. It's just but that's still that's still like into home input. automation. Okay, yeah, so wait, wait, we got health, we've got refrigerator and uh, supplies, and I guess it would be waste. Is waste. Another one. Laundry. Laundry. That's okay, a good yeah. one because you can see what you use. Those clothes. Use. Well, clothes could also monitor their own cleanliness. Like they can basically. Oh, shale. nice. Oh, that's what I want. My shirt tell me I stink. Right. Paul's, <laughs> yeah. Paul's pants could be like totally. I need a wash. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, burn me. <laughs> <laughs> I agree. <laughs> I'm detecting swamp ass. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. They give you a little app and on your phone yeah. it's like okay. it's like needs a wash a little bit. Holy hot damn use I, I twice want... as much detergent and then burn me. <laughs> <laughs> I like that version. Oh, uh, we just gotta start a website called Paul's Pants. Just, what are they saying? <laughs> what are uh, Paul's pants saying? Now here's the thing, like it can help you when you're shopping, right? Because you could like never manage a shopping list. You could just have like preferences or or ahead of time if you're looking at recipes, you go like, I wanna make this and I wanna make that. You could have like your whole week planned ahead about food and everything, but you never actually created a list because the Internet of Things is smart enough. Right. It knows what's in your refrigerator. It knows which of the ingredients you have for the recipes you intend to cook. Mm-hmm. Then it, the ingredients you need, and it'll generate a list mm-hmm. for you. And, and what you, you like. to the store, and you buy it all. In my or head. Or home delivery of if all that stuff. If you're going to eat this, you're yeah. going to need to buy Beano. In, in my... <sighs> we'll never leave the house. In my <laughs> in my head, I've got the... I've got I'm thinking That's Jarvis what again. When they had the internet porn, they predicted that. Mm-hmm. Um, in my head, I'm thinking Jarvis. It's just like it gets to the point where you're talking to to your uh, house, Whoever. whatever, you know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and you're like, you're like, okay, I want to make uh, pot pie souffle next week. 
No, you don't. Pie. You want <laughs> yes, a burrito. <laughs> Shut up, Jarvis! I know what you want. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you want a chimichanga. <laughs> <laughs> Chita Colorado, you take yeah, the narrow yeah. prunes, take piccata. So, what was I saying? I, I was going somewhere, and then the chimichanga came out and slapped me across the face. Chimichanga. Would you like me to buy you some new underwear? Oh, you know, there is the underwear that, that has the fart uh, stopper thing. What's it? The material actually And you absorbs, just saying this now? It, doesn't work. <laughs> it absorbs the farts. It doesn't work. So you no, could, we're buying it for Paul. You could, I know, we totally got to find because it's out there. You can buy it. It's expensive. <laughs> Heck, we're going to give you a Thanksgiving gift. We want you to get fast, all right? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm detecting so, methane. What, what else in the house? Is there anything? Are we done with the house? I mean, we got we got laundry, we got clothes. I want the like, clothes well, to tell me how much fire how, extra like fire sensors that will automatically call the fire department when it detects a real threat. And I'm not talking about a detector that goes off every time you cook some meat around it, you know, speaking, or when your meat's cooking. The meat. Hey, well, my <laughs> job, <laughs> wait, <laughs> job security here. Shut your meat hole. <laughs> wait, wait, that's not right. Shut your foot in uh, hole. Wait. Can't have your meat without your pudding. <laughs> that's getting close to now, ass. It'll, no, go, it'll go beyond yeah. the home, too, because uh, actually um, the self-driving car thing that Google's doing, that's a little bit of an Internet of Things concept as well. Yeah. Because even short of having cars that drive themselves, you can still help traffic flow by having really good monitors that are all networked throughout um, the city. Because basically what you can do is you can find out exactly how many cars are going how fast, which direction, and have an algorithm that'll manage the stoplights so that it'll impede the flow of traffic the least possible. So that's another way it could be more efficient. And then it gets even better when you have self-driving cars because they could really, you know, drive with more precision than a human, mm -hmm. and you can really stack the traffic together at that point. I think it'll be one of those things where, uh, for example, we're here using our iPad or iPads or phones or touch screens. We don't it have was, an iPad. We it was have just, a Nexus Seven. Didn't the first iPhone just come out, which was the first real touchscreen instrument in 2008, I think it was. Well, multi-touch. Yeah, multi-touch. Like real, like, that for the masses. Of, for well, the masses, It was yeah. the iPod that had the touch first. Yeah. Wasn't it the iPhone? No, the... I think it was the i. The, no, it was the, no, iPhone. the iPod. The iPod Touch came after. After the iPhone. Did it? It was oh, kind of like I thought a, it was before. It was but like the a thing is, phoneless iPhone. It's been. Oh, yeah. It's only All been. Right. It's only been five years, and look how much those are integrated into our lives, and we're right. so used to mm -hmm. them. Where I think back to when I saw the desk on the island, thinking anything like that would be cool. Law of accelerating right. return. Yeah, and that's just <laughs> it. Is that this stuff will start infiltrating our house bit yeah. by bit, and and it'll be in a <laughs> few in five years. In, our, in five years, we won't even Crawling realize. Crawling under the door to get in. This this reminds me. Calm down. You gotta see. You gotta see this week's um, South Park. Okay. Yeah. Because it's about automating stuff and stuff. Oh, and well, here's the thing too: is that like <laughs> this stuff gets so cheap that it, it is so commoditized that it almost becomes disposable after a certain point. I think that's the kind of thing we're getting at. Because it used to seem ridiculous to me thinking about like, oh, sure, someone's gonna have a thermostat with a full color screen on it because you know that's so cheap to produce. I mean, 20 years ago that would have been outrageous, yeah. right? But now one of those screens could be like a couple dollar part that exists. We still live device. in the '60s here, but yeah. my, well, it's like the, it's like the compact, we have the, the bulbs, the um, yeah compact fluorescent bulbs. And now right. LED bulbs. Are yeah, and those expensive. you get at like nine nine cent store. Yeah. But the LEDs, those are the next. Those are still about like ten dollars or so each. The LEDs, but, yeah. But they yeah. were like eighty not that long yeah, ago. Yeah, yeah. So you know that kind of stuff keeps coming down. Um, and then there's. You know, one of the things that's already here is the Nest thermostat. It um, basically tries to learn your habits, and it also has motion detectors on it to tell when someone's home. So basically, it can detect when there's someone in the room. So if you like, it might be programmed that like at six in the evening, it turns on the heat during the winter months, right? Um, however, if you work late and you don't get home until eight, it'll not heat the place until you get home. Or even then more, it it'll turns on when. It, senses motion or even more so it might if you're connected to it it might sense when you're on your way home yeah it'd be awesome yeah, if right it, so it'll get better once it can track where you are yeah like you start getting like you know like on the couch you know you start getting a little busy it automatically dims the lights plays yeah, a little very white true. you know and then turns on the air conditioner and you coming. can go flaccid yeah it happens too that happened earlier hey <laughs> what you said flaccid yeah Dick I joke. Dick joke. It wasn't a joke. I was talking about yeah, something serious. Yeah, that was serious. more matter of fact. Oh, oh, all right. If sorry. I would have said, oh, flaccid. 
Lake Flaccid. We're Lake sorry. Flaccid. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> I'm <What> sorry. <laughs> We're sorry. Well, I'm looking forward to all this stuff. I, what do you Maybe think, Maybe we Paul? shouldn't have a Dick yeah, I, moratorium. I don't know. <laughs> I think this is... <laughs> yeah, I, it I, just I, makes me want to This will make more. the home a lot funny. more fun. I, mean, I, I really like the idea of home automation. Um, what are you scratching there, buddy? Dude, my leg itches, oh, dude. I, I Not over here. <laughs> You're the one who grabbed your... Well, it could be the over there. Leg. If I was standing oh. up, it'd be down there. All right. What about you, Kale? What are you looking forward to all this home automation? Well, I think that I am looking forward to the integration you know, of all these things. that chair could oil itself if we had home automation. That's true. So it wouldn't squeak. Yeah. yeah. Daryl, what about you? That's what my bed like, sounds what? like. I just right. cut him off. <laughs> <laughs> you win. Go. Well. Oh, okay. Go ahead and finish, Kill. Yeah, finish up. Oh, thank you. <laughs> okay, Daryl. <laughs> no, he needs to finish up with his chair, apparently. Oh, God. <laughs> Okay, so home <laughs> animation. What do I look forward to? Um, first of all, I, integration. I, I, I think that's what I was talking about. Yeah, you're finished. Hey, oh, integration. <laughs> I, I would like for it to really tell me that we're out of milk and it just comes and to my house. Comes. Oh, because right. it sucks when it's like ten thirty at night and you like get milk for your son and you're like, damn it, there's nothing there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and like Amazon doing uh, things like Amazon Prime shipping and all that. I just think like that's going to become more of a thing. Yeah. It's like anytime, anywhere, just have them ship you something. Yeah. I did that on accident and it is pretty cool. Yeah. <laughs> Two day free oh, shipping it's, it's... for almost anything you want. Now think about if like everything in the house is like you kind of set a threshold like by the time I'm down to my last two rolls of toilet paper it just shows up. Right? That yeah. Kind of thing. Well, that's kind of like what Amazon does with their um, sub subscribe and save. It's yeah. not. It, it doesn't know how much you've used, exactly. but if you used to using so many whatever of device and you need every three months, you just put it on a cycle and it ships to you every three months. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Very nice. When the toilet detects the diarrhea, it reorders more toilet paper. Yeah. 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 <laughs> That's very scatological of you. Thank you. I'm looking forward to the <laughs> to the whole Jarvis, just the interaction thing, because you know, That's as true. I say, as I say all the time, my brain is so scattered. I need more. Well, that's a good. That's a good point because this kind of uh, connectivity should make everything more of a seamless interface. Because right now we're used to like having a touch screen like in one part of the house or maybe like something you carry with you like a phone yeah. or a tablet, and then you have a computer that you might um, mouse around and keyboard with. But then you know when you get more and more things connected, I think the interfaces be you know they'll have more voice recognition maybe gesture detection and, and things like that. So you can maybe start talking with your home automated Jarvis uh, as if it's more yeah. of a person who's assisting you. Well, Mark, you need a, a software agent is what you're talking about. You know, Jarvis. Cortana. Yeah. Anything you want. Mark my words that this is what, when you hear this in the future, hello, hello future. future. Mark words. Mark words. <clears throat> I'm saying Mark this, Cliffs? that, I feel right now there's so much potential to, to use the internet and everything to, to, to help me do things, to, to organize all the stuff that we're talking about, but it's just out of reach because we don't have that that, that infrastructure, that uh, yeah. that ability to just say, I need this, 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 this done. Like, to use these tools, we need to know a little bit of programming, you need to know where to find yeah. it, you need to do all this stuff. And people in, in 50 years are going to go, how did they get along trying to use the internet without having just yeah. being able to but say it. Just like we say, well, how do people go along without f having their own yeah. personal phone to walk around yeah. How do you learn the yeah. beeper? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, there, there are um, companies already working on these technologies. Um, yeah, they're called Google. I'm trying to think of the... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, I, the, the, Wik the Wikipedia page says some big groups that are working on it. It's, I, I think I'll Cisco is one of them. That's no, you switched it. It's a probably skeptic society. IBM. Oh, right. But you know, a huge, a huge thing with, with this is the cost. Uh -huh. is, is, Tell us more, Paul. about the LED lights, how, yeah. you know, this is so new in, in, innovation. I mean, the refrigerator that does all that, it may cost like $10,000. Well, the average person is going to buy like a ten thousand dollar refrigerator, but yeah. a couple of rich guys will. A couple of rich but guys, NF, but and then, then and then have to take a while. And then, and then, and in addition to the yes. RFID stuff, there's also like NFC and then Bluetooth four both of which are very low power radio communication uh, yeah. protocols. The thing is, it's kind of a format war right now. Um, everything Apple is using the low power Bluetooth, but then a lot of Android phones are using NFC. Yeah. 
And NFC actually looks like it's kind of losing the fight right now. But regardless of which is that technology the whole is touch, yeah, the where you tap the phones yeah. together, yeah, this mirror field, which will be able to do. Yeah, if you yeah did. I was thinking that too. And there's been a concept for a long time of a personal network where um, this was kind of like an Internet of Things just for yourself, like everything you have. And this is we're starting to see this kind of thing where companies are trying to introduce this, like you have a smart watch and a smartphone and. You know, eventually smart clothing and maybe a smart implant, and all of them are networks. Still be an idiot in a very low power, <laughs> near field radio network, and they, basically that means that everything would know what everything else is up to. And you know, if there's something attached to you that knows your mood or your health, it can. That's my wife. <laughs> Communicate it with your phone, and then the phone has the. Where's my Where's my earpiece? Where's my earpiece? What's my earpiece up to? <laughs> phone. What's my earpiece doing? He's having sex with the keyboard. <laughs> hey, yeah, the toaster. Check with the fridge. Where's my underwear? <laughs> Check with the hamper. And also, Internet of Things can help with things like waste management too, because all these things that will have IDs on them will eventually get thrown away. So when you, it might become a thing where it's no longer a taboo to say, like, just toss your phone or some electronic device you're done with into the trash because it might be a very automatic process where there are robots that sort the trash, tear things apart, and recycle all of the usable materials. Yeah, Wally yeah they're or... called Indians. It's Wally. <laughs> <laughs> Indians? Hey. No, racist. Because, racist no, and Disney. That's, that's because that's in hell. India, oh, it's Bangladesh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Wow, where they they ground the ships and they tear them all apart, and it's very yeah, toxic. Yeah, we know what you mean. The yeah. children are working. Is that where I shit my pants? <laughs> Thank you. That no, just that totally Paul. blew it out of my mind. <laughs> <laughs> uh, these are all wonderful things that we're looking for, but are there any problems that could happen with this what new information? I'm effects? glad you asked that hmm. very unexpected question. <laughs> Yeah, that's what that's what I do. Why don't, why doesn't Paul start? Well, for one thing, if the power goes out, you'll never get milk. <laughs> that's true. That's a good one. I didn't even think about power outages. Paul's man. Yeah, power outage. That's good. Woo. Okay. Or an EMP. You know what the smart grid will help smart. avoid power outages. That's one. True. Yeah, that's one yeah. topic we can cover. To shade. EMPs yeah. would still get them. Arguments with your own computer. <laughs> I have. I don't want to watch that. <laughs> I just oh, looked at the bikinis. Once. That's a really good point. Oh, because your I, underwear needs washing. I can get another day out of it. Come on. <laughs> I'm thinking that people wouldn't be naive enough to not engineer this into designs, but I really hope that we don't become kind of like out of control with oh, everything. No. Like, just because I come home and I'm feeling a certain way, and the you know radio starts playing classical music automatically, no, I might cat be, videos, no, no, I want to hear Rush. Yeah, damn it. you know, like it's my band. So, it's all Rush all exactly. the time. <laughs> <laughs> so the thing is, like, hopefully it can all be overridden because it's going to guess no, 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 wrong no, no, sometimes. What we really yeah, want, no. you know, or sometimes you know. We might want something but not realize it, and we'll insist anyway that, no, I want my, you know, mitten chip ice cream. And well, I that was like, like Pandora. I'm sorry, Dave, you don't So, that. I'm listening to Pandora, I'm listening to, like, like rock and stuff, and it's, it's playing, like, Metallica, and then, like, Nirvana, and then it's like, Toby Keith comes on. <laughs> and I was like, <laughs> what? <the>? what? <laughs> so, I'm like, thumbs down. Yeah. <laughs> like, why? That's funny. Yeah, yeah, I already argue Metallica with looks. Netflix. When I'm when I'm on Netflix, I'm always arguing. Said, "Why are you recommending that? I hate that movie." And it, it you have to. I think though it's part of evolution. You have to have that kind of random thing come in every once in a while because it, it doesn't know what you don't. Oh, it's a mutation. Yeah, yeah. and it needs to oh, know. Yeah, you had, you had mutations a, are good because you, you had, had a Randy Travis mutation. Because what if what was. if the Toby only Keith. thing you watch and you're not thinking about something else you might like or you yeah. have liked in the past, it doesn't know your mind. So every once in a while it has to throw something and go. What about this? Oh, yeah. It's gonna throw you a bone. Well, that's why like the, the systems we yeah. have now. It needs, yeah, humans, it needs humans to input information. So Netflix, we have to watch shows, and then it goes off what we're inputting. Or like right. when it's the Internet of Things, it's going to be... Yeah, because that's one thing that's tied to a particular service. And I think Internet of Things would be so like sensor-laden that it could actually like monitor what you're watching no matter what the service is. Yeah. 
Like, for example, yeah. whatever your your TV might just monitor whatever the hell it is you watched, and it would just mm-hmm. know, like, okay, oh, you were think- watching something oh. from Antenna Digital Broadcast, then you watched something on Netflix, then you loaded a computer, a, a file from your computer and a Blu-ray, and it would track all of that and have an overall profile for you, not just what you watched on one service. Yeah, one. well, the, the networks would never go for that because then they couldn't use the Nielsen ratings, the and they would get accurate information. The networks no. are dying. There's going to be some point where somebody gets logical <laughs> and figures and out they'll that figure out no one's ne- really Nelson watching Honey Boo Boo except are my wife. Just... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Honey boo boo, honey boo boo child. So, uh, what else is bad? I mean, yeah, yeah, I'm sure you can think of something, Gail. <laughs> what, something what that's bad? bad. I'm the optimist. You're supposed to be thinking of bad things. That's true, huh? <laughs> what is it? You're the pie in the sky optimist. Yes, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, oh, you're looking for chicks. And I just right. want to sound like I know all of it. Yeah, I'm looking. Yeah, for the know it all. That's hey. All. Hey, Pay attention, know, dude. Seriously, to internet, you? <laughs> internet when do we of do things that? can totally get you dates all the time. It's like the moment you're sig- you're single, some sensors in the house goes, dude, he's been whacking off a lot. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, could I recommend someone down the street who might be compatible with Who's you? also right. whacking off a lot. <laughs> Whoa! Hey! Hey, wow! What? It's a guy, but... No, that's, the kind of, that's the kind of personal preference screw up. But I don't he does have boobs. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Wow. I think you might be interested in this schlong. No, no. No, no. I think I might not. We're recommending a 12-inch dildo. (laughs) Yeah. All right. Can't wait to see that on your (laughs) So, yeah, it's not just automating the home. It's automating a bunch of stuff. Now, um, Amazon recommends. Speaking of outages, though, what about... Big black buster. Internet connection interruptions and stuff like that. You know, the internet's not perfect. Servers crash. What? All this stuff. Mm-hmm. Sensors Holy malfunction. Shit. So I think there's going to be a lot more maintenance yeah. and stuff. Because how many times is it like, you know, it's easy enough to change a light bulb. And it's like, you know, light burns out. You just like change it. What about when you have like, you know, 500 sensors all over your house and like in your car and everything? They're going to be busting on occasion. Are they going to be a pain in the butt to dig out of the wall and you yeah. know, replace them? And is it going to be one of those things where it's like, oh, I don't feel like doing that right now? And then. No, because know, just before it done. dies, it will climb out of the wall. And they'll creepy. have little and nanobots say, that. I'm dying! <laughs> And they'll have little repair bots that fly to your house and like screw in a new <laughs> well, one. Well, the thing is, is that included. all of that will be taken care of because obviously it won't catch on if it's too labor intensive. You're right. I mean, the whole idea with think about electricity from, you know, 100, 150 years ago or whatever, was just, like, how is this going to be in every house? They weren't thinking about a simple light bulb you could screw in and there's going to be connections everywhere. And so mm-hmm. they fa- it evolved to work, and that's what's yeah, going to happen. Yeah. But also think about what happens, like, you know, we would already be kind of screwed if there were, like, a giant EMP or, like, a solar flare takes out all our satellites. Mm-hmm. You know, we would have a huge disruption to society. It would be even that much worse if everyone was dependent on this. It would be like revolution. Phase. Yeah, kind of like You know what? It's possible it could happen at any time. <gasps> oh, no, dude! It was supposed to be like it went quiet because it went out. There, that was better. Yeah, what? You, got, you got your quiet, now shut up. <laughs> you quiet, now shut up. I think it's going to happen, by the way. There's going to be a point where something like that's going to bound to happen, and then we'll figure out a way to get around us it. into the dark ages. No, but it won't. Yeah. It will fix it up, and, it, and things, only will, the things will go on as normal. In the you got to grow facilities. your own food. There's going to be an area where it happens. It's like with, with Katrina. There was bad stuff that happened there, and we learn from it. And then, uh, you know, when there's tragedy, we figure things out about how to make it better next time. And there's going to be some major city somewhere that's going to lose power for a long amount of time. People are going to die. People are going to... There's going to be tragedy. Are you saying people are going to die? <laughs> Walking that one. Yeah. <laughs> Where are you going there to? Cats and dogs <laughs> living together. Total anarchy. Yeah. yeah. But we'll figure it out. What about uh, people hacking into <laughs> all of these things to basically know anything they yeah, want to know about you? security hacking. We've done this with other topics, and I think... It's kind of like you build a, an immune system for yeah. it. We we kind of talked about that, about like the spread of like a giant internet virus. I think we kind of have people working on both sides. We have people attacking the network, trying to hack it, and other people trying to protect it. It, it generally works out. If we put Paul's farts as a 
line of defense, everything would be fine. Could be. Yeah, that's true. I don't think it would keep out the zombies. Mm. Zombies. They'd like it. It's like, Brains. let's go this way. <laughs> Brains. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, on that, what else do we need to talk about? I don't. Know, you never got to your disaster scenario. Was there any downside to this whole thing? The downside to all of this, I don't know. EMPs. That's about the major thing I would think that would be a, a downside. The only thing is, is like most of what's going on now, the complaint against uh, the invasion of privacy and how you and I already are letting more and more into our lives from the from from many different sources on the internet where i think 10 years ago i would have i know i would have went no way yeah. you're not getting all that info no. out of me and now it's like oh god everybody's got and, it what and, the hell and, no. and because i think you realize that it's it's not going to be used necessarily against you at least mm. not at this point it hasn't you know been a problem but Think about like even video cameras. I remember, uh, I remember like 15 years ago, there was a big problem where people didn't want video cameras on the street, you know. And right now, they become tremendous tools in crime solving. It's debatable if it hasn't really been a problem because I mean, it's not the big problem that some people illustrate it to be. But when you have free services of things like Facebook, you are the product. Like yeah. your data is valuable mm-hmm. to them, and that's why they collect it and they uh, sometimes share it with people. Now, you have options about how to set your preferences, and it's a confusing mess to determine what should go out and what stays. And I think it's going to become that much worse when you have the Internet of Things, because what are you going to do? Set all these preferences about, like, okay, I I want my home network to understand what's going on in my refrigerator, but I don't when want to... When I go to porn be... sites, please turn off the camera that's facing me. And you have me. to allow permissions for, like, <laughs> yes, my... My clothes dryer is allowed to communicate with my refrigerator. Because now you have to throw well, it Unless I'm having sex with my refrigerator. With an and the toaster gets Electrical jealous. Tape. I don't know. So no. it's going to be probably kind of difficult or like only the most, um, the people who are most entrenched in the technology will understand how to manage their privacy properly. And mm. most people won't care enough to take the time to learn it. And they might make themselves unintentionally vulnerable to being spied upon. Or people That's marketing That's how it is now with like the internet right? and stuff. Yeah. People I do feel stuff. vulnerable. <laughs> it's all you wanted as a superpower. That's right. <laughs> Vulnerability. Vulnerability. <laughs> <laughs> I want a softer heart. <laughs> I want an already softer. I want a softer penis. Yeah. No, his <laughs> job. Did he say penis? It's his Happiness. job. Oh, yeah. That's where right. I'm Yeah, sorry. You, it's my job and I blow at it. Yeah. That, that made me flush. <laughs> yeah, that made me flaccid. Did it? Yes, it should have. No, it made you flatulate. Ah. Oh, no, that's his. Yes. Your ass. Well, that's kind of a combination made you of glutious. his farts and my ass. Yeah. We're what? tag team. How would that work? <laughs> yeah, tag, what? Tag team back again. <laughs> well, we don't want to have... a pad. You blow <laughs> into my mouth. <laughs> my face oh, share a digestive tract. <laughs> at least he's... At least the, the <laughs> dick jokes are... going. <laughs> <laughs> At least, at least the dick jokes aren't going into your ass jokes. <laughs> oh, that would yeah. be good. <laughs> All right, at that, I think and we're done for There the, we the, have the, it. The humor just got crazy. <laughs> and we're only at 57 minutes, and we had like five minutes of BS at the beginning. 15 minutes of BS at well, the beginning. No, it was like five minutes of outtake BS that was always going to be cut anyway, and then ten minutes of other BS after that. Wait, we're going to so cut? True. Oh, well, no. Oh, that, I'm, the, we're going to circumcise forgot, it? I forgot we'll about that We'll just reinsert minutes. it okay. in the end. All right. I forgot about five minutes. All right. You going to wrap it up then? No, what else we got? This is kind of like the shortest episode ever, though. But well, that's no, right. I mean, the thing that's is, cool. Cool. that's cool. fine. I mean, I just don't know what else to talk this about. This topic all... got kind of, like, run out already. It's, yeah, I think uh, so we're it, done it with it. almost made it the full way. But it's just, it's something... Is that an ass joke or a dick joke? <laughs> both. It was both. <laughs> okay. All right. Did we all finish? <laughs> That's the important <laughs> thing, isn't it? Did we all finish? All right. More what, what would be yeah. far, jumps off. What would be far future uh, results of all of this? That w- We could talk about that. I think we did in the singularity. 
Well, what's scary? Yeah, is it eventually you, leads to the singularity. Yeah, the singularity. <laughs> you this are is the kind internet. of like you are the you are internet. This, this, yeah. this kind of, and then it leads to nanotechnology. Yeah. Yeah. You know, like okay, this is one of the things is that like every nanobot will probably be on the internet. Yeah, at some point because it so. artificial what, technology. I think that mm. the point is is that we haven't thought through what the results of this is really going to be because of that, because of when every nanobot is online what does that mean for everything and it will change everything and probably in ways we don't know just like the internet did where we we could have no concept what the internet right. was going to yeah, be the internet of today is not the same of like 1994 so the internet of things probably is going to have that same effect on us i think this is kind of a, a a neat way to take the topic but um i think that network capabilities is going to be key to um creating intelligence out of simplicity uh, think of mm. actually recently the movie Ender's Game came out. And I don't know how well it follows the book, but the aliens in the book had kind of like a hive mind. Spoiler kind of alert! I don't think that's a spoiler though, really. Because that's, that's, that's introduced. Really I haven't early seen on. it yet. I want to though. We were gonna see it at, at, at midnight, and that was Halloween. <laughs> right. <laughs> Halloween right. night. I was like opening tonight. I was like, oh, what? we were gonna at see Halloween, that at midnight, at like eight <laughs> on Halloween. Yeah. 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 Well. um... So the, th the idea was that, like, um, Rubbing it in. they had, like, a hive <laughs> intelligence, the aliens did. <laughs> Rubbing it off. No, I think I'm sorry. What... It's just when my wife kisses me, and I, I it's uh, wet, so I, I wipe my lips, and she says, oh, hey, why are you wiping off my kiss? And I always say, no, I'm rubbing it in, baby. That, that's that's, so that's disturbing. That that's my joke, damn it. <laughs> rubbing it Do in? Do you tell her that yes. later? <laughs> Okay, moratorium <laughs> Moratorium on dick jokes uh, off. You may all beats, have dick jokes again. It beats rubbing it out. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. So hey, back, we back passed to the, an hour. Back to the hive mind thing. Um, okay, I think if you had nanobots that weren't networked, they might be kind of like an ant colony where every individual nanobot has a certain level of intelligence, but the way they interact with one another, they work as a colony, and so the colony of nanobots will exhibit maybe when more they, advanced behavior. When they interact, they exchange data, basically. Right. One to one. Right. Or to their nearest neighbor. Yeah. So they can flock, in other words. Mm -hmm. Kind of like an animal flocks. I couldn't see that. But the idea here is that I think that it gets taken to yet another level if all of them are networked together. Because if all of them are on the internet, that means that each one's not just communicating with its nearest neighbors, is communicating with the entire swarm. Mm. And then and I, think, I think you can have very simple basic intelligence that grows into very advanced intelligence because all of it's interlinked. It's, it becomes like neurons in a brain, where it's like a neural network of automatons that are really small. Mm -hmm. So I, that might be one of the unexpected that things that we find out of it. True. Is that it's like, Wouldn't that be We don't have a, anything like as an animal that does that because animals can't communicate with their far, their whole colony. Wouldn't you know? that be interesting if after all this time trying to find artificial intelligence or trying to create artificial intelligence, we create it as like a side effect of just doing other stuff. Right. Well, a lot of people think that that's what's going to happen with the internet. It's just going to become so complicated eventually yeah. sentience will and arrive. And the thing is we're moving from what might be millions of nodes on the internet to trillions upon trillions of nodes. And that might be where we see And that'll become a synapsis of... Right, the emergent yeah. intelligence will So what will be interesting arise. about that is the idea that... It's, and it's not going to be like all of a sudden it'll be like, hello, I'm the internet. It, you know, it'll be so big and we're such small portions compared to it that the way it will interact with our lives and our world might be kind of like a god mm -hmm. where it directs us in certain ways that we don't even realize, you know, that we're doing because it's connected us in so and many ways. And I think ways. if such an intelligence does arrive, we'll start to find out that things are solving problems before they occur. Ah, kinda like, interesting. Like, it foresaw that there was going to be a major infrastructure failure coming and then it fixed, it arranged itself so that it would avoid the failure, that kind of thing. That's cool. Mm -hmm. right? So we, I think that might be how we discover something like that happening. Instead of it being late. sentient or conscience or, like you said, saying hello to the world, it would just be like we would notice all of a sudden that, hey, we never designed this thing to repair itself, yet the network heals. Like you can cut a, a main line on the Internet and all of a sudden everything works around it, mm -hmm. even though we... It knows the I mean, in, in That'll be the first we, thing that artificial intelligence says to us is, hello, world. 
Yeah. I mean, I no, no, I, I like I like yours, Daryl. Un, 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 oh, I had it. In the, unintentional. The Thank you. Unintentional intelligence, where yeah. it, it it pops up when we don't expect it, and that's kind of cool. Daryl, right. you brought it brought the topic sure. back up to be something. But topic. Shut up, Kayla. You're bringing us down, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> man. Quit why go- you guys gotta be like that? I'm just trying to host a podcast. Quit going down on us. <laughs> <laughs> it's, why is it such a bad aiming day? <laughs> <laughs> We're in yeah. body armor. <laughs> So watch how it should have ended. Return, Return to Jedi. Jedi. Yeah. Yes. Right. All right. <laughs> we, you killed all of us as children. <laughs> <laughs> hey, awkward this is. <laughs> all right, you just gave it all away. Yep. That's okay. <laughs> Spoiler. Anyway, okay. I, uh, so I, uh, that was a good good thing to end on, though. The yep. whole idea mm-hmm. of intelligence coming out of nowhere from our... Kind of cool. That would be yeah. something for our podcast if intelligence actually... Come out of somewhere. <laughs> oh, I thought you meant came out of our podcast. Yeah. Whoa! Oh, just, just out of my ass. <laughs> What's up, brother? <laughs> Paul's farts become sentient. <laughs> oh, man. They, smell this. Smell it. They smell exhibit it. flocking, swarming intelligence. <laughs> <laughs> I think already that's happened. Swarmed in. Seems to swarm around me. Like they, they like that's find known as hang time. <laughs> and gathers information. It's like that. Uh, did you ever see that family guy with the pie? Where the where he says okay the 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 uh, the steam's gonna come off that pie it's gonna beckon you to come towards <laughs> it <laughs> right <laughs> and no matter how much it goes up your nose and tries to make you float over you're not gonna do it and so that starts to happen he goes no 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 no, no. And, says, hey, and then and then it takes him and turns it around and starts to pull his pants out he's like no no not like this and then his friend Quagmire's oh over God. there he's like help me Quagmire and then the smoke's got his eyes open he's like it's making me watch <laughs> Intelligent yeah. pies, oh, man. Man. Intelligence design. <laughs> that actually kind intelligent. of picture that like his fart will like navigate up your nose and then form a million connections with your brain cells. <laughs> <laughs> and and become, just take you over. Yeah. You become Paul's fart tomaton. <laughs> <laughs> fart zombie. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. So that would be uh, great. That'd be great. <laughs> it's already happening. Oh, we lost Kale. Man oh. down. Man down. Oh, leave me. Down. I'm humanity. Done for. Okay, so. And then you queefed. <laughs> so, uh. Don't queef in my face. That was the Internet of Things. Thank you for joining us. Uh, we have next week. Let's see, that was. What was. Wait, what, what was last week? Was. <laughs> oh, last week I said it was Daryl and Hales loudly. 31. <laughs> which was. Oh, after 30. <laughs> the title of which. Uh, anybody? It was, it was anybody? yours. It was Bueller. Mine. Bueller. Um, what are you doing? <laughs> not education. No. no. Um, that was a long time. Oh! Climate change? Climate change. Climate right. change. That's there it is. Okay. okay, so yeah. Oh, yeah. It is, so it is Kale. Yes. So and. What are we doing next week? And we'll Viking it, power. Yeah. It is. I want to get the name right here. So it'll be post-apocalyptic survival. Ooh, nice, good okay. one. I like it. I'm going to play some Fallout to study for that one. And yes. who of us will survive? Ooh, uh, <laughs> Paul already is giving up. Paul has sentient farts. I'm telling you, He's if good. no one no. grows, if no one grows their own coffee, I'm done for. Yeah. <laughs> like, I, just I, leave me. I'm done for. I'm just going to go to wherever Kale is. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> We're all gonna be like parasites on Kale. <laughs> Kale, what do we do? Like, well, um, first of all, you should all stand there together because I only use one bullet. <laughs> <laughs> right up next to each other. Uh, Shoot Paul first. He farts too much. <laughs> Don't use bullets. It makes noise. Everybody knows where you're at. That's true. I do have a crossbow in the bedroom, yeah. so. We'll use and it. that's not a metaphor. Hey, wait. Daryl <laughs> uses the crossbow. Ah, yeah. See, the wizard needs food. <laughs> well, I'll use uh, dead reference. I'll use my uh, one of my yeah. swords. That is true. You All right, so that'll be yeah. next week. Will be the uh, apocalypse of things. Poor Merle. Yes, and I, have, we'll survive. I have a lot of cutlery at home too. Swords. And All right, things. we're gonna we're gonna end now. We're talking. Wait, we could hack apart we're, the we're gonna, undead. We're gonna talk about this next week. Yes. Okay, right next week. Well, that might be fun too to put it in a zombie element. Ooh, zombie! Uh, actually, oh, different apocalypse. Actually, and how to survive them? <laughs> yeah, that's. All. Yeah, that's Wait good. a second. Maybe we could try the new format with that if you were Ooh, interested. Ooh, five minutes what? per topic. Like five minutes per topic, different type of zombie apocalypse, apocalypse. And how would you survive? Alien invasion. For the, yeah. for the four? infrastructure yeah. failure. All right. 
That's all the yeah. dice. Uh, that's cool. Okay. I like it. Yeah. yeah. All right. So Gungan we'll come up attack. With a, a disturbance in the force. <laughs> because I did want to talk about, you know, zombies. Okay. Okay, let's do that. If, if it doesn't work out towards where, what you like, you'll get a, a reboot. Sexy vampires. You, you vampires, won't get sexy vampires. Thank, but the vampires will not glitter, never. <laughs> okay, guys, it's getting hot in here, and I don't want to take off all my clothes because I got swamp ass, so... Oh, and there's guys in here. So we're going to end right now. So this is Joey Shabble. You can reach me at imrambly.com, which is just the same. Maybe incoherentwarriors.com if we get that working. Yeah. Okay. Something. Paul, where can we find you? Uh, hey, it's Paul.com. Which right now is our Which, website. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But it'll change. Just go to incoherentwarriors.com. Yeah. You know, go to the website. Yeah, it's cool. I really don't find me. You know, it gets to the point now where you just find all of us yeah. at, yeah, I don't really at iamrambling.com. Yeah, we don't have to say this. Anymore. That's our main site. I don't yeah. have my own website. Because I actually have And anything we're doing is going to be based on I want to plug my damn site, though, damn it. Go. Go for it. Okay, nice out. seeing you, bye. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to find me wandering the streets because I have... Paul's farts controlling me. <laughs> and Daryl, where can we find you? George.com. Alright, All right, thanks everybody. We'll see you next week for the many different types of apocalypse. The, the, the apocalypse? The apocalypse of things. <laughs> yes. See you next week, bye! What are you doing in an apocalypse? Uh, spam in the place where I did it. <laughs> Thanks for listening. You can now stop screaming at the open air. Listeners should put their minds back in their upright positions and resume traditional thinking. Find us on imrambling.com for access to all of our weekly ramblings, show notes, general discussions, and any projects from Incoherent Ramblings. Like us on Facebook and rate us on iTunes. So long, and thanks for all the fish. Thank <laughs> you.